And as you can see here, Friday, April 14th, we got the final two games for the play. And then the playoffs are set. Beginning at 7 p.m. on TNT down in South Beach, it's the Miami Heat taking on the Chicago Bulls. In this one, the Chicago Bulls have swept the season series with the Miami Heat. Three and known in the regular season, and they looking to make it four and oh with the trip to the playoffs and the date with the Milwaukee Bucks. Miami, they're looking to get that nasty, ridiculous, stupid taste out their mouth for the way they showed up against the Atlanta Hawks on Tuesday night. Zach Levine, DeMar Rosen taking on Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry. And you know Kyle Lowry and DeMar Rosen, they're going to get at each other, former teammates down in Toronto, up in Toronto. Now one of them, one of them, one of them can only make it. One got to go home. The other one has to play the Bucks. That should be an interesting game down in Miami. Even though the Chicago Bulls have owned the Miami Heat this year, three and zero, I expect a better Miami Heat team to show up Friday night. At 7 p.m. when it's time for tip-off, I am expecting a Milwaukee Bucks and a Miami Heat series to start on Sunday. And not a Milwaukee Bucks, Chicago Bulls series. But if Miami Fs around again, like they did it to the Atlanta Hawks against the Chicago Bulls. Trust me, it's going to be hell, fire, and bimstone down in South Beach. Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, you do not want to piss off Pat Riley and the Heat fans down there and Heat fans across the nation. Okay? One of them that I know. Miss Joy D'Angelo, she was not pleased at how y'all looked against the Hawks. Do not have her come on Twitter and go off again for the way y'all look. I expect Miami to play better, and I expect them to finally beat the Chicago Bulls this season to get the eighth seed in the East. That's one spot up for grabs. Then you got to go to the West. Oklahoma City Thunder, they went on a road to New Orleans to took care of them. Now they moving up north to the Twin Cities to take on the Minnesota Timberwolves. That game is at 9.30 on ESPN. This one's a little bit tricky because Rudy Gobert will be back for the Timberwolves. They'll still be out uh, Jaden McDaniels because he broke his hand, obviously. Shea Gillis Alexander and the second youngest team in the league. They have a tall task ahead of them because the Twin Towers would be back. So we're going to go, like I said, we're going to go back. We'd be back along with Carter and the Towns. And then this one, I don't expect Anthony Edwards to score only nine points in this one, okay? He's going to be at home. They're going to feel some type of way because they know they let the seventh seed get away from them because they had it in their, in their grasp. It was in their hands. And they let the Lakers take it from them. And that game was more of the Timberwolves losing it than the Lakers winning it in most people's eyes. But nevertheless, this is where we are at. So say get his eyes on Josh Gini, you might have to go for another 63 points again, or maybe more, or maybe close to 70 in this one. But I don't think it's going to be enough. I think the Timberwolves come home and they take out some frustration on the Oklahoma City Thunder with Anthony Edwards going in. I think Edwards might go for 20. To 25. Carl Anthony Towns, who will who will not be in foul trouble in my opinion, will probably go for probably go for 25 and 10. And Rudy Gobert, if he comes out and ready to play and be the who is the defensive player of the year, but three times over, if I'm correctly, he might get you 12 to 15 rebounds and get you about four blocks in this one. So I think the Timberwolves will grab the AC and doing so they will face the number one seed in the Denver Nuggets and the Kelly Jokic, who's going for MVP number three, which would be three in a row to get it. But like I said earlier, Jordan and Beast can't mind. But, but that's for another episode. But this is what I'm at right now for the final playing spots this year. I think home teams 
take full advantage of it this time. Because, by the way, Atlanta won in Miami. Uh, Chicago won in Toronto. And Oklahoma City won in New Orleans. That's three world teams that I won. Two of them, two of them are playing Friday night. And I think they don't get it done. I could be wrong because I was wrong because I picked Miami. I picked the Lakers. And I don't even love the only team I got right the damn Lakers. I picked Toronto and I picked New Orleans. I was wrong on I was wrong on three of the camps. So nevertheless, hey, what do I know at this point in time? 